Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Andrew, the CEO of Quantata, and in today's video, we'll be going over the new multi-window layout. So the new multi-window layout feature allows you to have a variety of different customization options that allows you to configure the layout of the dashboard however you like. So once you're on the dashboard of the Quantata platform, you'll see that above tables, there are now individual tabs for that respective table. So you'll see the options order flow table has an options order flow tab, and you'll see the same thing with news, dark pool, etc. So what you can do with these tabs is you can now drag these tab sets into other tables if you don't want them to be displayed. So for example, let's move the gainers and losers tab into the dark pool tab set. So now you see we can toggle between these two tabs and only have one displayed. So we can do that to conserve space on the dashboard if maybe we're a trader that doesn't want to look at dark pool or doesn't want to look at gainers and losers. You can now have that ability to customize it to your liking. And along with this, you now have the ability to X out these tabs as well if you just want to remove something entirely from the dashboard. So for example, we can click the X on the gainers and losers tab and it'll just disappear entirely from the dashboard. And if we want to reset the layout back to how it was so that we can get gainers and losers back, we can click the layout button in the top right hand corner and then just click reset layout and then X this out and you'll see that the gainers and losers tab is back to where it was before. In addition to having the ability to move tabs in between different tab sets, we can also move tables entirely to our liking. So let's say we wanted to move the gainers and losers tab back with the dark pool, and then we wanted to drag the entire news table under this gainers and losers table. You'll see it gives us a little predetermined box that's gonna show us where it goes, and we could just let go of the mouse, and now the live news and sentiment table is below the gainers and losers table. And we could do this with any component on the dashboard. So if we wanted to move gainers and losers where the news was, we could also do that as well. If you go to the edge of a table and you drag this blue line, you can also resize these table components. So you just pull on that blue line however you like, and it's going to resize it for you. Let's go ahead and reset the layout. So we click the layout button and then we click reset layout and it's going to put it back to normal. So in addition to the ability of moving tabs, moving tables entirely and resizing them, you also now have the ability to pop out individual windows so that you can have them wherever you like on your screen. So let's say I pop out this window and you know, let's say I, I'm, I'm a trader who uses technical analysis and I have multiple charts open, I can put this next to my chart on one of my screens or do whatever I want with it. And if we want to put this back in the dashboard, we just click dock window and it's going to put it back in the dashboard. So you can do this on any of the individual components on the dashboard by just clicking the arrow and then you'll be able to resize and drag these components wherever you like. So let's go ahead and dock this window. And once it's back to normal, like we have it here, we can also full size any of these individual dashboard components. So we just click the maximize tab set button, which is right next to the pop out arrow. So we just click it and you'll see that it, it maximizes the tab within the dashboard. And then we've, we've always had this here, but by clicking this, you can full screen the entire dashboard as well. Um, so another feature we added recently was this little gear icon here. And with this, if you click on it, you can add or remove any of the table columns on the options order flow table. So let's say we wanted to remove the volume column for some reason. We uncheck it and then click save and you'll see the volume the volume column is no longer here. So, you know, let's say you're a trader who doesn't look at what exchange the trade executes on. You could just click the gear icon, 
and go ahead and uncheck the exchange column and then click save and you'll see it's no longer here and if we want to add them back we can just check them both back and then click save so that's all of the new features in, in regards to the multi-window layout and the ability to add or remove columns on the order flow but um, we will be adding some new customization options as well as the ability to do certain things like duplicate the tabs and just other small optimizations. This new update really gives you the ability to configure the layout however you want. And it also allows you to pop out components and really just arrange them however you want. We have many, many traders who have multiple screens and want the ability to move these windows across different screens. So this was a highly requested feature and we're glad that we're finally able to make it happen. With that being said, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe because we do have more content coming out. We have a bunch of new features coming out as well. So stay tuned for those updates. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out at any time.